Well, I was an engineer. I worked for a few years, um, changed jobs a couple times, then was doing research for a few years, and was that was really my first exposure to MDs and, and what they did and their research and stuff like that. And um, I just felt that I wasn't interacting with people as much as an engineer sitting behind a computer and um, but it would be more satisfying to be a doctor and continue my education in, in that direction. At the time, it was a very hard decision because I had already gone through school. I was a little older, and it required, you know, moving to a different state. And my husband wasn't planning on being uh, <laughs> married to a doctor at the time, and so. Um, but I think it was a great decision. I really love what I do now. So. So today was our first day, and we each got new patients that we had to get to know via the chart and also um, introduce ourselves to them and just see where they're at in their care. Um, so just go in the room, introduce ourselves, and do the daily update, check on their vitals, they're breathing okay, heart's beating okay, stuff like that. Um, and then see if there's been any changes overnight. So I'm definitely excited about the first day um, and being able to sign orders without someone having to co-sign them. Um, and, but it does, because the responsibility is now more on me than as it was as a medical student, um, it's, I've noticed it's taken me a lot longer to do things, <laughs> like write the notes and look up everything, um, just to make sure that I have all the bases covered and that I understand um, what's going on with the patient. Well, there's a lot of anxiety built up over the last month or so as we've graduated and you know now that we're going to be an intern and we have all this responsibility so um and even or during orientation we're still anxious about this first week because all the calls and codes and all that stuff we have to be able to handle but um i think that it went pretty well <laughs> I think try, you know, trying to remember everything that we have to do. Of course, I know how to do a physical and write a note. I've done that a million times in med school, but um, haven't done it recently. <laughs> and um, knowing what to order, like questioning whether you know the right medication or um, which which labs would not, not lab labs or tests would be best for the patient to figure out what's going on. So. I think the the new autonomy that we have to sign the orders to this is this is the note that's going in the chart, um, and and then going back and seeing the patients by myself as I got to know them a little more, um, and saying you know I'm Dr. Polifka, nice to meet you. <laughs> How does that feel to say I'm Dr. Polifka? It feels good. It feels scary, but it's good. It's a lot of work to get here.